What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jonah Cichlid. I'm sounding a little weird. I've been under the under the weather. I have a big cold right now, and I'm just getting out of it. <clears throat> but yeah, doing a quick video here. I'm just doing a quick update. I haven't done a video in a while, and I mean, honestly, it's because you know I haven't done any changes yet. I haven't changed stuff around. So I mean, I don't want to do a video every every week. You know, the same thing. So. But I'm gonna show you around. Um, got some new fishes lately, and want to show them off a little bit too. So, I got me a white face albino dragon blood, as you see the white face, and then there's an uh, dragon blood and albino. So one of my favorite fishes actually looks really nice. Got me a higa reef. That's not a Taiwan reef. It's actually a higa reef. You see that blue shine already coming in. Higa reefs and Taiwan reefs, they're confused a lot. Um, Higa reefs tend to have more of a blue shine all over the body. Taiwan reefs, they just look regular orange. So yeah. Um, that's the Taiwan reef right there, the one coming out over there. So. Well, I got me a Ultrapharynx and Draspillus, I think it's called. It's a, what do we call it, Yellow Princess. Looking really good too. Uh, German Red right there. German Red is a beast. Uh, no, it doesn't look that red. I know there's a lot of variants of German reds. I mean, it's a lion breed, so hard to take, hard to like just define it as a German. I just define it as a German red. I mean, it's not a sunshine, so. Uh, Luan, the peak up up there. I got a. Uh, what else? I got me a uh, my deep water hap over there. I got me a Feno, Tanzania. Or what they call the star sapphire, right there. Um, what else? We got that Ob Ali, which looks really nice. The Brule Eagle is starting to finally color up. I did a video a couple months ago. He was all gray. You can see already the blue coming in. Got my Angara flame tail. He had a skinny disease. Him and this uh, Victorian right there had skinny disease, and now they're getting better. As you can see, they're getting rounder. They're really, really skinny, both of them. And I I treated the tank with General Cure and Epsom salt with the food, so it worked. Boily eye, still getting big. Definitely a male, it just hasn't colored yet. yet. That's a uh, Cianel's Nakata Bay right there. That guy is a uh, Tanzania Luli, or they, they know it as commonly Insignias, but. Yeah, <clears throat> I got some plus plus comagino. Uh, these guys I got them just fried and they grew them out. They're already coloring up because you can see they're that, they're that small and they're actually bullying around the big guys. So that's pretty cool about them. Um, what else I got? Okay, I got my iceberg or uh, electric blue ali. They they get confused a lot. I don't even know which one is this. So. Uh, red shoulder variant. Not sure what variant, but he looks nice though, so I like it. Um, what else do I got? Sulfur head back there. He's still coloring up so far, so he's still small. I mean, he's like three inches so far. So, what else do I got? Uh, I got me. I got me some other ones in here too. They're not coloring up yet. Um, I got the outer point back there. He's looking good so far. Uh, Eureka Red. I got two Eureka Reds in here actually. One of them is more red than the other. They're both different variants. So I just want to see how they look color up. So I'm kind of curious to see um, how they both turn out, how different they look from each other. But I got one back there. He's just hiding right now. I might move him into the grow out tank because it looks like he's stressing out a little bit in here. But well, he's behind the filter right there. So I'm going to take him out tonight probably and put it in a grow out tank. And I got the other guy over here too. Um, I mean, my light is a shitty light. I'm using a 50 gallon um, light for this tank. So as you see, it only covers like right here to here. That's it. The rest is just dark, dark spots. Uh, honestly, I've been moving. I just found an apartment. I'm going to be doing a fish room in the, in the basement. So my money is being spent right now in the apartment. But once I get back into it, you know... You'll be seeing my update on my fish room. 
so I got the red fin shuttle right there. Stupid camera I don't want to zoom in. Come on, man. Come on. So yeah, red fin shuttle. Uh, what else? So yeah, like that's pretty much this Victorian. I'm not sure what it is. It was sold to me as a red bass scraper, but he looks all black with the fins. Orange. It's all black, completely solid black, and then all his fins are orange. So if you guys know what it is, um, I mean, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what it is. Uh, I don't know the ID on it, so give me an ID on it. That'll be I'll be that'll be great for real. Uh, what else? So yeah, I got um a little Jacob Furby albino, which is like I'm thinking is a Eureka Red albino. So it's right there, back there. Um. Uh, what else? Uh, I had me uh, I forgot the name of those guys back there, but they're like mulattoes, Fireline mulatto. I'm thinking, I'm assuming it's back there. Um. So yeah, and those are pretty much the guys that I have in here in this tank. I got more. I'm gonna go ahead and show you in a minute. But um, those are the ones that I got in here right now. I got the blue neon fluorescent, just this guy right there. See if it comes with the light. All right. Yeah, go ahead. So yeah, you see right there that color coming in and all that blue shine. That's my blue neon fluorescent. I got all that blue. Um. What else? What else? I'm trying to think because I have I've gotten so many it's hard for me to think just one. <laughs> uh yeah. So let me go ahead and show you the other tank then. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause it real quick and show you the other tank. Alright, so this is the other tank I got right here. Uh that's my green face mulatto. Um his green face is not showing too much right now because of the other guys. Um but yeah, he gets his little green face. You can see it, the shine. That's um swallowtail still growing. That is a uh, water terry, water terry peacock. He got beat up and he's recovering here. Um, that guy right there is a mumbo. <laughs> Hope I call him his mumbo. This guy right here is uh, my other sulfur head. He's still growing and still coloring up, but he looks really nice so far. So that's uh, my blue orchid. I got a guy right there. Um, stupid phone muscle man. That's on my bike color for hundred right there. That's that's rails. He's still growing out. That is my uh, kobu, all in a Cora kobu, which is like a red shoulder but more blue. Um, I got another of oh, these are blue orchids. I got two in here actually. One of them is going to Chi Town Cichlids. This guy is my intermediate. He has skinny disease. He's still got it right now, and I'm curing him right now. He, I treated the whole tank for everybody, so. But he's getting a lot better right now. As you see, he was really skinny. He's getting weight already. I got a bunch of uh, dragon blood juvies growing in here. I'm going to pick the best one of these males and sell the rest. So yeah, and that's my uh, Chicka Furby, whatever you call it, guys call it. It's like a swallowtail as well, but that's not a swallowtail, it's a different variant from swallowtail. And uh, yeah, that's what I got here in the grow out right now. So, thank you all for watching. I'll be updating soon again. Well, um, I'm going to be updating my fish room once I get it done in my basement. And I hope you guys like it, you know. Subscribe, comment, let me know an idea on the fish. And uh, peace.